everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great day. We're gonna get some primer on. We're gonna get some face makeup. We're gonna play around with a little bit of different products today. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Happy Sunday. What are you guys doing? We just got our tree up, so that's done with. Guys, I can't believe we freaking leave this week or weekend, whatever. We leave this coming weekend to go to Florida. Hi, Katie. Leave to Florida. Hi, Jacob. I'm excited to go spend it some time. Spend time with my mom, dad, and brother, so. We just got a pack, though. That's the only thing. Whoop, whoop. I know, Jacob, right? I'm so excited to go spend time with my parents, brother, my dad, all them. Excited to spend time with them. And I'm excited. Cause this will be the first Christmas in three years that we'll spend with them. So I'm looking forward to that. Hi Courtney. So I'm just gonna kind of go fast here. Get this concealer on. I will be trying a new concealer very soon. Um, I have to go get it and stuff like that on Friday. I have a few things to grab on Friday that I'm grabbing. Hi, Leslie. Because, of course, you know, I'm not going to take liquid concealer with me to Florida and everything because of, I don't want to take any liquids because then you have to put it in separate bags and it's honestly a whole mishap that I don't really want to do, so. I don't want to do all that. I don't want to do any liquids. So we're just going to take all non liquid. <coughs> right, now that I blended that, yeah. we're going to go in with a brush. Let's see. I guess we'll go in with this one. We're going to take some VFX. And you know, we're just gonna put some on the face. And we're just gonna tap, tap, tap all the way through. Hi, Jenna. Guys, I gotta make sure I clean these brushes before <coughs> I pack them. I plan on trying to get like little sponges though too. I found a pack of sponges, which I forgot to tell Ray that. I found a pack of sponges at Gordman's. 75 sponges for $3.99. I think that's crazy. I think that's awesome though. I think that's what I'm going to grab on Friday and stuff. I think I'm going to grab that 75 pack. Because that's not bad at all. And grab that and then take that with me. With my brushes, obviously. But I want to mostly try and use the sponges for at least foundation and stuff. So that way I don't freaking get my foundation all like clogged up in my brushes while I'm gone. I'm going to be gone for like a whole week. So. I'm so excited to spend time with my family. I'm ready, ready, ready for it. Other than not ready on packing because we haven't done none of that. We kind of, like, I have a list of, like, what to take when it comes to, like, clothes and stuff like that. Like, a gist list of it. It's not, like, descriptive or anything, but it's a nice little list, so. And like I said, I'm not taking any liquids at all. I'm taking all compact. So, for foundation-wise, I will be taking my beauty powder and I will be taking the Pate Cream to Powder Foundation. I'll be taking that. Because that's not a liquid. It is a cream. So, 
I'll be taking that one for my foundation. And then let's see what else. For brows, I'll be taking my brow powder. Hi, Avery. I'll be taking my brow powder for brows. Um, for eyes, I'm taking like a sort of those things. But it's just because I don't know what I'll be in the mood to actually wear for makeup wise. Depends. So, no, I'm taking my, um, well, I'm taking, of course, all my, uh, pharmacy stuff, because, like, that's super simple to take with me, um, and then I'm taking, I'm taking this e.l.f., um, eyes, lips, face palette thing, because it's just really, really nice and to take, or compact-wise. And I'm taking a Tarte palette also because it's got the glitter in it and I know I'm going to want glitter and stuff like on Christmas. Hi Ashley, how are you? Hey love, hello, hello. Yeah, Ashley, Monday I will be receiving your um, brush set. I just won't be able to send it out until maybe Friday. It might have to be after I get back. I'm not sure. Good and you. I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to go in. So I just did brows. We did foundation and concealer and primer and all that. So we did that. For primer, I won't be taking any of my liquid, obviously. I'll be taking stick primers. I have two of them that I'll be taking. I'll be taking the e.l.f. glow one and the wet n wild hydration one with me. All right, I'm going to go in on the face with this eye face palette from e.l.f. This is one of their like holiday sets. So I'm gonna take this cause it has all kinds of different like browns in it. Okay, that one's warmer than I thought. Okay, so there's some glitter ones and then there is a few matte ones. So we'll see which to go with. I think we're gonna go with probably this middle one. I feel like we might be good. Yeah, that looks nice. Definitely buildable. Hi, Michelle. How are you? It's got kind of a warm tone to it. But then it's got, I don't know. I feel like it's got like both. The warm and cool tone in it. So yeah, we're going to take that with us. And this whole kit because honestly it's nice. Alright, I'm going to take my blush brush here. And I'm going to go in... I'm going to go in with, it's like a peachy tone blush. There's this pinky one. It's like really light. I think I'm going to go in with that. It's definitely buildable. Yeah, I think that's nice. All right. There we go. Yeah, because I don't really have like so much blush because I'm not really a blush person either. Like I don't like blush all the way on my face. I don't know. Sometimes I don't like it. Hmm. What is this? I wonder if this is like a powder concealer. It kind of looks like it. Or a brightening powder. I think it's a brightening powder. You know what? We're going to test it. Where is a good brush to test it with? Oh, 
There's one. All right, I'm gonna take this powdery brush, wrong emoji. <laughs> We're gonna take this one and go like under the eyes. I think it's a bright, ooh, yeah. I think it's a brightening powder. Which, ooh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Brightens right under the eyes. That looks nice. So yeah, that's a brightening powder with that. That's actually really nice, so. All right, we're gonna brighten up the nose with it. And on the chin. And around the lip. Yeah, that's a nice brightening powder. Above the eyes, okay. That's nice, I really like that. I haven't really played with this palette yet, so. Pretty good. Battling a sinus infection right now. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. That's awful. Okay, for eyes, we are going to be messing around a little bit with this. Ouch. This uh, elf, like I said, this eye, like face eyes thing palette. So these pieces come out. And you can flip them if you need to. Or you can fully take them out and use this, like, casing for, like, brushes or something. That's what somebody, like, recommended and said. It's a good way to use, like, brushes and put in. Um, Alright, let's see. What we got here? That one's pretty. I think one of these I've already used. Maybe it was that one that I didn't. I don't know. These are pretty, though. These are really pretty sparkly colors. I really like, I think, that middle and that other one. Mm, I don't know. All right. Anyway. Hi, Gonzalez. How are you? Okay. We are going to go in with the highlight stick. This is the pharmacy highlight stick. Oh, love that. Isn't that pretty? I was going to use this jelly highlighter, but because this pharmacy stick is so pretty and already shiny, I don't want to mess with it. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Oh, so gorgeous. Y'all, I used to pay highlighters for a highlighter stick. I used to pay $39. This thing is not that. It is way shiny, way gorgeous, way more affordable. It pretty much sucks. Yeah, girl, that does. Sounds like it. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit under the brow on both sides here. Totally use it all over the lid if you really want to. I just accidentally did that. So, but that's okay. You know, we might just do that. There we go. We'll put that all over the lid. And then we'll go in with some eyeshadow colors. That's really pretty, though. Okay. That could be, like, super simple thing if you don't want to, like, go into a bunch of eyeshadows and stuff. You could totally use this and just all over the lid with it. That'd be really pretty, too. It looks nice. Okay. And I am taking that with me when I go. Because I love that highlighter stick. Hey, Abby. How are you, girly? Okay. Let's go in. With, let's see. What do these greens look like? Okay, this one's a really light green. And this one's a really dark green. Those are pretty. Okay, let's go with these greens because we're doing a red cream shadow. I haven't got back to you. Oh my gosh. You're good. What foundation are you using? I just used um, the VFX Pro foundation. Is she okay? Is she okay? Yeah. All right, you want to go put her back in her kennel? 
She got all over it, didn't she? Got all, not me. All over the couch? Yeah. All right. Hi, Crystal. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, girl. Hope you get better. Um, it's okay, girl. I understand. You're good. Um, what just happened? Athena got sick just now. She got sick. Poor baby. Um, hello, beautiful friend. Shared. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go back and we're going to start off with a transition color. Um, you clean it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay. It missed me. It scared you though, didn't it? It looked like it scared you. Uh. <laughs> Throw it out. It's fine. Because I have to get a new one anyway. That worked out just right there. That's okay. Um, Poor girl. I know, right? Poor baby. Poor baby. Yeah, just throw it out. It's fine. Like I said, I'm getting a new one anyway, so it's fine. It's no big deal. Um, okay. Let's go in with this light green for the heck of it because that's what I'm going to start out with. This is a really bright green now, too. Really pretty, though. All right, we're going to use this green in the transition. Throw what out? A jacket. Just my big old jacket that I have. Hopefully she missed the couch. No, she got all over the couch. She missed Tino because he was holding her, but uh, it's not too bad on the she couch. got sick all over the couch and then all over my jacket, apparently. She just hit, she hit your blanket. She didn't hit your couch. That just needs washed. Blanket will be washed, that's fine. But the jacket, I'm getting a new one anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> like, it's fine. Poor baby. All right. I think the her getting sick though, I think it scared her. Right. Poor baby. I know, right? That's okay, Abby. It happens. Things happen. She probably feels bad though too. It's probably why she gave me a look. It's okay. I'll mess with her in a few minutes. Was it all water? Mostly, yeah. Yeah. She drank too much again. I don't know what is up with her and water? Some water just doesn't agree with her for some reason. It like never does. I don't know why. Anybody else have dogs that like have an issue with water? Because what's that solution for that? Because like she constantly, she does it. Like she drinks so much water and then she ends up getting sick every time. It's always water. It's like not on her food. It's like all water. Anybody else have that issue? Let yeah, me know. Go. Yeah. Does she drink any bath water? No, she has that problem regardless mm -hmm. with water. But she drinks in bath water? No, I got her in a bowl. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take, wow, this one has a lot of fallout. Okay, that's okay though. Like it doesn't, it hasn't fell on my face or anything, but like in the pan, it's got a lot of fallout. But I don't see any on my face though, which is nice. There's a lot of fallout on the pan though. All right, so I'm gonna take this dark green, bring in here. With this dark green. It's okay, Athena. You're all right, baby. Is she pushing on the kennel door? She would. Oh. Poor baby girl. It's okay. 
Mommy will mess with you if you do that. Let me zoom this in just a tiny bit. See the dark green, you guys? This is what the green looks like so far. Yeah, you guys, every single time, like, she does something wrong, she freaking gets scared, and it's, like, it's just her. She gets, like, scared and, like, sad, basically, all at once because she feels like, you know, she's just in trouble. She acts insane when every time she does that. Because it's like, no, baby girl, it's okay. Things happen, and she, like, gets all scared and flip out or something. <coughs> Things happen, baby. Alright, so there's the green. Lots and lots of green. We're gonna go in. Even the green got in with the other color. Okay, we're gonna go in with this red. This is the red cream shadow. And I think we're gonna take. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Should we take our finger? Should we take? I think I'm gonna take my finger and go in with the red. This is the red glaze cream shadow. So we're gonna take this. And put it all over my lid. There we go. So there's the red on that side. We're going with this side. Get a little by little. Yeah, so there's the reds. I love that red color on there. We're gonna go in with my finger and we're gonna go in with the gold, which I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, so we're gonna go in with this one real quick. I'm gonna tap that in like the center. Technically, I could use my gold pigment, but I decided to try this one on. See what this gold looks like on my lid. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. Then we are going to go in. 
then I'm going to put the face palette back up here on top of the eyeshadows. And close that big old palette. This is what it, it's a big old palette. It says eyes, lips, and face. Like I said before, it has a big old nice mirror. It's got the face palette. It's got the uh, eyeshadow right below it. And there's a bunch of shades. So, I don't know. Might just put the face back. Face palette right back. And you can take them all out and set them on your desk. Or you can leave them in here and just kind of switch them out every time. I do like both, so... There's the face palette, or whatever the elf, big ol', yeah, elf eyes, lips, face palette, and I'm just going to set it right there. I was going to add, like, just regular, like, the glitter, but I don't think I want to because I think this looks pretty good the way it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm just going to pop mm -hmm. this a little bit. And leave it the way it looks because um, I was going to use the Tarte palette because it has the Wonderland palette. It has glitter all in it and stuff where you could like take the glitter and put it there. But make sure you put it on top of like concealer and make sure you use a brush with it. Um, I will tell you that. That will be going with me and stuff too. So I'll be doing that this week with you guys is packing up my stuff. Because it'll be super easy to unpack and pack up. So, all right, we're gonna do this gel eyeliner because I love this stuff. I really enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna take this gel eyeliner. And put a nice little line. My recommendation with this gel liner is make sure you're using a brush with an angle because it's a little easier to get that nice line is to have the angle. And it's a little easier to get that inner corner area too with the line one with the edge that sharp point, so. We go all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tip of this into the gel eyeliner and I'm gonna make a nice little line
Let's see if I can do this a little better. It's a little better. Doesn't really have a point there, but it has like this nice little line. Actually, I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna smudge it. I'm gonna smudge it into this. So it's part. Of this. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. There we go. Smudge it, and then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. Try to put it in with this look here. better on this side than this side. I'm take a tiny bit of a wipe here. Here we go. Go back in with a little bit of foundation. Drop it. There we go. There's no wing there, but that's okay. Probably won't get a wing when it comes to it. Because I haven't messed with this or mastered on it at all yet. So I'm going to take a wipe. I'm take all this black off of this. This brush here. I'm going to do the same thing with the foundation brush and do it too. That'll be how we clean it for now. Okay. There's that. We're actually going to use this gel eyeliner again, but we're going to use it on the lips. So we are going to take this. It's going to look a little messy, but that's okay. Because we're not leaving it black. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that, the black on there. We're gonna go in with the red lip liner. So we just used gel eyeliner all over the lips. We did a little messy, but that's okay. Cause we are gonna take the red lip liner I go over it, over the black line. And then, take this red liner. Mark it up on the lip a little bit. Okay. Then we are going to take this bright red liquid lipstick that is super bright usually. It's just not going to look so bright now because we put the black on the lips. So we're deepening this bright red. to look more vampy, vampy kind of looking. Hmm, that's pretty. I like dark colors on myself personally, so you guys will have to tell me what you think on it. It's really, really pretty, I think, but see what you guys think because I like this and your guys' opinion too. Okay, Even if you have negative opinions and you're like, ooh, girl, that's too dark, you know. That's fine. So everyone has their opinions. I just think dark lips just look so much better on me. My personal opinion. I like bright, but I don't like, like, too bright either. Like, I'm good with, like dark red really pretty like sultry kind of colors or salty colors however you want to say it like this just oh so gorgeous i love it all right anyway i was gonna put lip conditioner and i didn't put lip conditioner so that was my bad should have but is what it is but you guys all have to let me know what you think of this lip I really like it. I like the dark. I think it's gorgeous. If you're afraid you're gonna get on your teeth or something, go. Like that, you'll get some on here and you won't have it on your teeth. But the best thing about these lipsticks is when they dry, they are drink proof, kiss proof, all that stuff. So even on bright dark or bright lips, even on dark lips, however if you use it won't come off and stuff after it's fully dry all right let's take a tiny bit of this white and we're gonna put it in the inner corner here hi jody hi alexandria how are you so yeah we're gonna take this put it right here in the inner corner which is the white from the ultimate uh, smoky palette. I'm gonna take down my hair because I don't need my hair up now. You guys, I'm so excited because um, why I'm in Florida also, I will be getting my hair dyed. So you guys can make your guesses all you want. Um, 
I will let you guys see it and everything when it's all done, so. But my hair will be dyed and stuff like that while I'm in Florida. I'm so excited, because I get to change it up, so. And that's what I'll be doing, I'll be changing it up. Because, you know, New Year means new stuff. Yeah. I'm excited because I'm so excited for the new year because of new hair, number one. Number two, I will be doing my classes next year, so I'm so excited for that. So I get to start schooling, which is fantastic. I know, everybody's like, huh, did she just say she starts schooling? Yeah, I did. I start college classes and stuff like that, and I'm so excited for it. And yes, I'm a person who gets excited for school courses. It's just how I am. I like school courses. I enjoy them because who doesn't like to learn? A lot of people, I know. I, on the other hand, am not one of those people. I really love learning, so. And, like, it's just a thing that I like doing, so. I learn. Because you learn and you grow. That's the way I see it, so. I'm super excited that, you know, that. So. But, anyway. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some more makeup. Love you all. Thanks for watching.